What's up everybody, my name's Turkey Jerky and welcome back to Firewatch. Now, we just left off where, come on, let's get back into this, yeah. Okay, so I'm continuing right where we left off. We just got our reports in, Delilah just called us and said that uh, there was a down power line where she was. So she wanted us to go investigate the power lines near where my location is. So that is what we are doing. If you remember, the night ended, this is just day two, the night ended with us getting vandalized. They broke in, threw my typewriter out the window, which, according, apparently, to what this is looking like, I guess I went down there and found it. I actually didn't scout the area and see if I could find it personally, so I guess off screen he went and uh, found his typewriter and brought it back up here. But yeah, so, so that's what we're doing. They're gonna be on the lookout. I'm not sure whether I believe if it was those two girls or if it was that weird strange guy that was watching me from on top of the cliffs last time cause that was pretty that was pretty creepy or maybe it could be someone else entirely I'm honestly not sure okay which way she said I needed to go back through the caves that um the caves that I came out of when I was coming back from um from the lake from where I found those girls at. And I know I passed the outhouse. So I probably need, yeah, the outhouse is this way. So I'm gonna guess that I probably need to go back this way where I left off. What's that noise? Oh, that's the generator. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I'd just like to enjoy this, this sunrise, man. Look at that, I would love to wake up and enjoy a cup of coffee looking at that. That is just amazing, like I wanna, I want to keep a picture of this. Jeez. I wouldn't get anything done here in this place because all I would do is be staring out the window. Beartooth Point Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. Is that where she's at? Because I'm at Two Leaves. I, I think that's what it's called. She's at a different one. So, I'm going to guess maybe she's at that one. I don't know where the sign is. When I came up here last night, I knocked a whole sign over. Now the sign's gone. But... Oh well, I guess I'm gonna drop down. Hopefully I'm not gonna kill myself or break my ankles. Ah, oh, that was good. That was good. Let's see if I can do that again. Okay. Yeah, I got I got strong ankles. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Well, at least I don't have, I can just drop off those and I don't have to actually go through a whole like sequence of dropping down, so that's nice. Okay, let's get back to wherever this cave was. I don't know if I could just walk off this path or, or if it would hurt me. Okay, no, there's an invisible barrier, so I actually have to stick to the path. But that's okay. Um, what did that... Okay, I thought those were words on the rocks, but apparently not. I'm, I am curious as to who that guy was, because he was up here, actually, like, right there where uh, those cliffs are. And, um... I mean, like, like Delilah told us... We, we are just, I mean, we're just outside, so it's not like anybody couldn't just be out here hiking themselves, so I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be that he was a creepy guy, but it was creepy that he was just watching us, but there again, I mean, if I was just out in the woods hiking and I was, and I saw somebody, I would probably shine my flashlight at them and watch them for a second just to make sure that they were okay or that they weren't bad people also i mean he might have just been looking out for himself to him we might be a creepy person i don't know hopefully i'm going to make it through I, I think this is the way to the cave i don't think i went in the cave after this point i think i did all this rock climbing after i got out so yeah yeah because i think that's the cave up there hopefully I expect something else crazy to happen, though, because I didn't look into this game beforehand or watch anything about it. Cold morning fog. It's actually cold out here. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold I mean, cold you're out in here. Colorado. Not Roger that I really that. know about fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, Colorado. Though, right? Yeah, here's the yeah, cave. they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um, let's talk about my... Uh, I want to talk about my wife, but I really don't want to get into that. So I'm going to talk uh, about know, my bar. Boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Yeah, oh, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's the that's one. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? Um, you know, 
you know, work. Got a DUI. Yeah, I did get a DUI. I just, I just don't. don't. I don't want to get into other stuff like that. That's hey, a little deep. Hold on a sec. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Keep hiking and hoping it warms up. I guess it would probably. Hey, I don't think so. Why have you? What? Um, okay, good. Who are you talking to? No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm gonna listen. I want to know what's going on. I'm absolutely sure. What are you? Would you? I don't like that. All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Huh. Hey, sorry about that. Um, anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. After what I just heard, dang it! I'll uh, talk about my talk wife. About I my guess. Wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife. My wife. But you're here. Yeah. See, it's complicated. Um. She's sick, and she's I shouldn't sick, be here. And I shouldn't be here, but, but I, I am. am. Yeah. I, that's. I'm sorry. Henry. Pretty much the what truth. That's how it is. We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, yeah. we are here. Because we really it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That's... Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay. Call I don't me. Know why I'm here to get my mind off of all of that, but I didn't come here to really get into it. Okay, I'm gonna go back, and um, I know that that was a lot that just happened, and I'm just trying to listen and make sure that I don't miss anything. So this place is locked. So, I don't know if I can just keep punching this. <laughs> Apparently I can knock the sign off, though. Uh, can I just... Can I just keep punching this? If I punch it enough, will it open? Apparently not. So, where exactly am I supposed to be? Survey communication lies north of the canyon. Okay, so yeah. Um, north of the canyon. So, yeah, okay. I remember now. She said to go through the canyon and continue going north. So... It's not in the canyon. I guess it's through it. Maybe eventually we'll find the key to be able to get through that locked gate. I don't know. But what did you guys think of that call? I don't really... I don't know what to think about it. She seems like a nice person. But at the same time, I mean, I don't really know what to expect of that. I mean, maybe... Were they... I'm just going to brush these aside and walk through them. I don't know... Whether to think that, um, geez, that jogging, what is going on right now? What is going on? This, this moving is just, something's wrong with my controls right now. I'm acting like I'm, like, drunk or something. I don't know. That's weird. I can zoom in, though. I don't know what I did. Come on. Stop doing that, would you? Please. Please stop frantically moving like that. If I pull up my map, maybe that'll... Jeez, this is annoying. What in the world happened? There. Alright. So yeah, I just need to keep going north. I wouldn't want to think that, um... They, they were in on it, or anything like that. But... Okay, well, it seems to have fixed itself now. Maybe. My game's just kind of been kind of buggy and freezing up and getting stuck in things. Like, yeah, okay, now it's doing it again. I don't really, I don't really know what to think about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but uh, hopefully it'll just work itself out. But I know that the power lines, yeah, so I'm kind of following the power lines. It might be something with the, with the terrain, with it being kind of hilly, and then uh, all the, all the hills and everything. I don't know. I'm hoping that it kind of works itself out because I've had to like start and restart my game a few times now and it's kind of annoying. But I mean, I do really, I'm enjoying this game and I really like it. So, but yeah, back to that, back to that phone call. I'm not really sure what to, what to think of it. I mean, I wouldn't want to think that anybody, any of them were kind of in on my break in because she did seem surprised. Or maybe they're just talking about how well I'm doing if they think that I'm going to work out or something. I'm honestly not sure. But I guess we'll find out. Um, survey communication lines. So if the lines... Okay, so there's the dotted black line that is the telephone lines that I'm supposed to be following. And I don't know 
which ones I'm actually supposed to be going to exactly. Survey. I guess I'm just supposed to be looking like sur surveying them. So maybe any of them. I'm just supposed to be looking out for any of them that are downed. I guess. I didn't notice any down back there. But at the same time, I wasn't really paying attention to that as much. So, maybe that's what I need to... Oh, utility. Utility rope. Okay. I can see the wire. Okay, so yeah, I walked right by. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from yeah, here. Yeah, it seems alright. Follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Uh, alright, so... Okay, so it, that goes in a direction that I can't quite go in so so we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires that's what else do you suggest weird. smoke signals just seems dangerous oh yeah well, well you here for me for a few days they'll send someone out but i'd rather it not come to that yeah so let's try and fix it i forgot this is actually i think like in 89 it's 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 before cell phones are everywhere so that's why these are in such the phone lines are so important because there's not really any other ways to uh to get a hold of somebody so uh, the, how far technology has come? That is just that is just crazy, honestly. I mean, nowadays we 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 all take it for granted, honestly. Like how easy it is just to just to pick up a phone and do anything, to get on the internet, to call somebody, to to do any of it. Where back then, I mean, I don't think nowadays. I don't think if the technology somehow reversed or we had to go back to how we did things, it would be tough. If we were given time to adjust, then I guess we possibly could, but if it was just an automatic overnight, like we were taken back to where we were right now in like 1989 or, or something like that, I mean, it would be hard to, to, to handle, to get used to, if we could get used to it. I think that's a supply cache up there. I'm going to go try to get to it. But you gotta think in all these TV shows, I mean, like The Walking Dead or any movie, any TV show where it is like end of the world, not just zombie apocalypse, but any apocalyptic type stuff, that's going to happen. I mean, we're going to lose cell phone towers, we're going to lose internet service, we're going to lose a lot of stuff, and that's going to be bad is how we react to that and how we actually get through that, if we can get through that. I mean... Like I said, everybody relies on that. It would be a hard thing to to lose. But, I mean, we have to be prepared, I guess, just in case something like that does happen. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, well, we will copy down some more map information. Man, I'm good at that. I'm a good drawer. I'm a good... I'm an artist. Uh, we got some pine cones. We got... Hmm, nothing that seems bored. What do I need a board for? Ooh, okay. Okay, there's a uh, there's a book. Six feet down under. Richard Sturgeon. Huh. Alright, that... Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia, but when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way to Sydney, Black is determined to make the killer say, Good day to justice. The critics rave... What am I... What do I keep hearing? Sounds like something's moving behind me. So, uh... Yeah, I'll just... I'll, I'll put that back in there. Nope, nope. I'm just going to leave it down here, I guess, for uh, for later. So it looks like all that's in there are a bunch of pine cones. So I guess I don't really need anything in there. I guess the the main important thing that I get from there anyway is just the, uh, the information, the updated map information. So at least I got that. Do I need to? Is there any way to go from up here? I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to come down from up here. Unless there's like a a cave or something over here that I can get into. What is this? Oh, it's just a crack in the rock. I swear, there's all these all the little details. It makes it look like there's stuff here that's not really there. But I like it. Is this a path? No, those are just rocks. I don't think I can climb over them. So, yeah. I guess I'm just going back down from here. Hmm. The phone lines. You know, I don't remember what she said, why the phone line was down, or if it was just down. Because 
Maybe it was just day. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was a thunderstorm last night, and apparently the thunderstorm knocked it down. What are these? Okay, of course, more beer cans. I've already reported some. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here, leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yep. Yeah. Thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Yep. Coincidence, maybe? Nope. I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Yep. I hate kids. Ah, I hate kids. Except for you kids that are watching. I love you guys. Why do you think they'd be up here? How can these girls be so stupid? Um, why do you think they'd be why up here? Why do you think here? they'd be up here? Hell I want to ask why. They stayed away from our communication stuff. <sighs> a long drop down. Okay. Let's... <clears throat> Broke both my ankles. Ow! Both my ankles. Report the long drop. Well, it's kind of too late now, right? I guess I would be like... Hey, uh, it's kind of a long drop down there. Are there any other ways down? And she would be like, oh, well, you know, I'm sure that you're a tough guy. I'm sure that you can handle it. You'll be good. And then I'll be like, all right, well, hopefully nothing happens to me. I'm just guessing. Probably went something like that. Now I don't really trust her after hearing that conversation. Now I'm very skeptical of her. I liked her at first. I liked her a lot yesterday because she was she was joking around with me, and uh, we were both playing around, which is really cool. But uh, I guess I'm gonna be a good citizen and clean up all these beer cans. I mean, not don't really have anything else to do. Seems like an easy job. I mean, I'm sure it has its bad parts, but just walking around and just checking stuff out. Go. Can I not get over there? End of the wire. Oh, that's the end of the wire. Guessing that thing says go to hell, though. Ugh. Utility rope. Yep, the wire's down here. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Yep. Can I? Can I come up here? It would. It would be awesome if I could come up here and get their huge panties that say. Report cut wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down. Didn't I just say that? It. Yeah, the yeah, thing, thing is, is doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was yeah. cut deliberately. Yeah, very I much knew so. It the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Yeah, Do they realize that this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And do and what? I, I, I mean, that far ahead. That's not true. Everything can't that comes to shoot them. Illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Why are there such oh, yeah? big panties hey, there? I, I mean, for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. Those aren't yeah. theirs. I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. It seems like we are stooping down them. to their level now. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. Yeah. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. Yeah, I'm going to need a raise, I'd man. start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so See I'm just... See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Maybe. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. No, I'm just apparently going to follow the empty beer cans. Even though I don't really... I can't really see any more from here. And if they're drinking... Okay, there's one. If they're drinking, hopefully they didn't try to climb down that cliff, or they'd probably be dead. And, I mean, I know that it's to help progress the story along... But this is a lot of beer cans for two girls to be drinking. I mean, how many have I picked up already? I've already picked up at least five or six, if not more. And they are just getting more and more. And it's early in the morning. Granted, it went out last night during the night. So I guess they were out at night drinking and doing this. But still, this is a, it's a lot. Of, uh, of alcohol for them to be consuming. Girls that probably aren't very big either. Uh, she said towards my camp. Head back towards it and see where it goes. Cut com wires there. 
and she said to go back towards camp, which I would need to go south and see if there's anything along the way. So that would be this way. So I'm going to follow it this way. I don't know. If I don't see any more cans for a while, then maybe I'll try the other way. But hopefully I'll pick back up on their trail pretty soon from here. Dang, this is a lot of a lot of brush right here. What was that? Blocked trail. Yeah. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Yep. I'm glad that, um, okay, so I can't clear it yet. So there goes that plan to go that way. I guess I am going around this way. That's cool. Well, at least I'm getting my exercise then. I love how she's just sitting up in her tower telling me what to do and criticizing me and laughing at me. Like, what is she doing? Is she doing all this? Because I feel like I'm the only one doing all of, all of this and all of the work. Uh, I guess I'll take the long drop down and bubble out both my knees that time. Al, I'm going to call out the long drop. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Yep. Mm, that is a pickle. Yep. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen <laughs> before you find these assholes. Mm. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Probably. I really want to go that way and get the supply drop. Because I don't know what's there. I'm sure I could get there pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm going to try to go get the supply drop before I go follow them. Because I could really use something right now. Before, Because, I mean, it, like I said, I didn't have the tools to... I'm not going to go to the fire lookout, but I do want the supply drop. Because, like he said, I don't have the tools to clear stuff that's in my way. But possibly, or or a weapon like a gun or anything, flares. So I might could, I might could get something out of here that could be useful to me. Probably not. This might not even be the code to this. This might be something completely different that I don't know the code to yet. But hopefully, okay, yeah. So it is the same code. Uh, Moss Peak, two forks, spruce. So I have two forks, and it is completely empty. That's just great. Thanks for that. Thanks for the help. I didn't. I didn't need anything. I was. I was. I was okay. I honestly. I'm good. I mean, all of my stuff just got robbed from me. I don't have food anymore. I don't have sheets anymore. But don't worry about me. I'll be good. I'll manage. I'll just go find some squirrels out here and catch the squirrels and eat them. I'm sure that there'll be enough food for me. So, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back when you get the next supply. What is that hanging from the tree? Oh, uh, this would not be fun. Walking across. Is that a backpack? Hanging. Yeah, that's weird. That's creepy. There's an abandoned pack out here. I don't like that. And it's not one of the teens? I don't think no, so. It looks like it was lost a long time ago. Yeah. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. <sighs> All right. That seems like... Well... Since there weren't supplies in the other one, Brian Goodwin's backpack. All right, maybe there's, jeez. Yeah, that's an old camera, that's for sure. Well, I am flush, flush with, with ropes now. All right. That well, pack was that's full good. Of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Hmm. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Hmm. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, did you say Brian Goodwin? Wait, who? I knew the it. The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Who is he? Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What happened to him? Crap. Ex-lover? What, was he a fella you had a thing <laughs> with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, Ew. you know, our love could never really be understood. Ew, I uh, mean... I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. Ew, huh. He was stationed in two That's... forks. 
Your lookout with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. What? You can bring children out here? Happened to him. Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Um. Was Ned the guy from that note? Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah, but I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, yeah, huh. so it goes. So it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Oh, thanks. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. <laughs> I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Yeah. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those Can girls. you please stop talking so I can open this? Thanks. You'll be getting my pictures later. I mean, I am bored. I might be married, but my wife is halfway across the world in Australia right now. That probably sounds horrible because she has, like, early stage of dementia and is not doing so good. I'm a jerk. Hopefully I wouldn't do that. But, hey, you're out in, in the wilderness and, I mean... I mean, it's been a while, and loose stone. I probably don't need a loose stone, but whatever. Fossilized claw? Uh, what is this? Why is this uh, in here? Someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't sound too... You didn't sound too concerned about that. What is that, a raptor? Are there raptors out here? I really want that gun now. I'm not ready to handle raptors. Where is Chris Pratt when you need him? You know, from Jurassic World. Not just Chris Pratt, but his... What does she have? What? Who? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's. Yeah, that. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? 30-something? She? She's oh. alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. okay. She's 43. 43. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like We're on the same page here. Um, it was it was pretty scary. We were scared shitless. Yeah. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her, and we were that? both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Yeah. Let's. This is kind of getting deep. I mean, I understand you're out here, but you don't even really know this person. Like, you've only known her for a few days. What is this for? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. When was the last time you've been out here? Um. Could the girls be behind you think the fence? Those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm. Well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. Climb over it's right really here. It's strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah. It's weird. Hmm. Why can I not climb over this fence? Like, it wouldn't be very hard. Ugh. Anyways, guys, that's actually going to be it for me. I was wanting to be able to find the girls, but I am all out of time for this episode. I will pick it up right where we're leaving off right here and hopefully be able to find the girls or find something out in the next episode, but... I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's really fun. This is the first playthrough or actual kind of walkthrough of an entire game like this that I've done. Other than like Tattletale. But as far as a game, an adventure game with a story and stuff, this is this is my first. And I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. I'm so ready to see what else this has in store. But... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. Click the annotations to check out other stuff that I have done. And please leave a comment and let me know if there are any games that you'd like for me to check out and play. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.